This was a really good One Piece chapter, but I will say I did not care for the Capone Max story. I mean, it is nice. He's from the North Blue. He's like a top-ranking mafia boss. It's interesting. It's cool. But also, at the same time, I honestly just have never really cared. I've never been a big Capone fan, honestly. I mean, he's a supernova, he's powerful, and he's influential, and I won't deny his, um, his uh, position or power, but I will admit that, in all honesty, Capone is kind of a letdown. And I, I like his back, the backstory given here was very basic, and sits a little too well for the story. Really cool, just wasn't my thing, really. Not even against the chapter. I won't even mark it negatively for that. I did it. It wasn't my thing. It wasn't me. Now. Let's talk about the bits with Sanji. All the stuff with Luffy and Sanji was great. How Luffy was just... Kept on saying. We're going to help Sanji save his family. We're going to help Sanji save his family. That stuff was really good. I'll talk more about the Capone stuff. About the Alliance at the end of the review. But, that stuff was great. However, I talked that in my live reaction. Um, it appears Nami is not going to forgive Sanji for what he did. Now, it is easy to assume that Sanji does not care. That, I mean, that Nami does not care and this is just comedy. And you look at the panel where Nami said that. said that, the uh, panel goes right through Sanji, like the actual speech bubble. It goes through Sanji's gut, and he's like, Oh, no, your words hurt me so much, Nami Swan. And it's kind of like, Eh, not really. It's like, is it comedy, or does Nami mean it? Because when she says she'll never forgive him, she looks dead serious. Nami does not look happy in that panel. And especially if you go back to her fight with Luffy when she slapped Sanji and she was like, We will leave now, Lord Sanji. And she was like, probably like, fuck off. Like, Nami was not happy with Sanji. He insulted Luffy's dream. He insulted her dream. He insulted the entirety of the Straw Hat Pirates. And overall, was kind of, in general, just a dick bag. And I am not a fan of Sanji in this chapter. I'm I'm, I'm not. I feel like he... I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. And I'm really a big fan of that. Because I feel that a divide in the crew would be very interesting. I feel like a divide where maybe Luffy, maybe even something where it leans up to Nami confronting Sanji and attacking him. I This is just an idea. Like, not, not, not like to the point where anybody leads the crew. But where she just like actually attacked them, and Luffy had to intervene and be the captain and be like, Nami, stop. Like, that would be very interesting to see Luffy had to break up like a miniature little argument between two crew members. I feel like that would be very interesting to see. Um, there's not much else to talk about in this chapter. Uh, they talk about their plan, they, and a lot of it is reactions to some, like, we see Chopper reaction to them having a fight. A lot of dialogue between the Straw Hat and Sanji. Uh, they do talk about the reaction to taking on Big Mom. They do talk about how there's not enough of them and they can't handle Big Mom. Big Mom is too much for them. They can't handle it. So Jim May suggests they ally themselves with Capone. And now you, we find out that he's already actually made a meeting with Capone. And Capone particularly states that everything that happens from here on out depends on whether or not Luffy pisses off Capone. This is what you need to understand. Capone is a dick. Alright? Capone is a dick. He's, a, he's not a good guy. Like, he's not the kind of person Luffy likes. To, and what people need to understand is that Luffy also pisses people off a lot. So, I don't actually think this alliance is going to work. I think they're going to meet to discuss it. And Luffy's just gonna piss the hell off. 
a little bit just gonna piss the opponent off and the opponent gonna be like, well, fuck you, straw hat, and there may be a fight. That's something I think could happen. I will be doing a prediction video on all this later. Um, that's about it. We didn't even touch on the, the preparation for the wedding. We did find out that the wedding is in five hours, which is very interesting. And now you may be wondering why I'm not touching on the specifics of the Capone backstory. That's simply because I don't think it's that important at the moment, and I don't really care. I'm like, it just, it seems like the Capone backstory is really just there to explain why the Straw Hat should ally with Capone. Like, it doesn't seem like you're going to have a future role in the story. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick mini-review. I'm sorry this is so late. I, I've been busy. I know I said it'll be out by 5. It's 10.40 when the recording of this. But this thing came up. I was busy. Um, I'm going to be at my grandparents tomorrow night. But I'll try to record, I'll try to record a video as I normally record on Fridays. And edit a couple things. I'll try to have a prediction video up this weekend, but I'm going to be at my grandparents tomorrow night, and Saturday I may be a little busy. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try to record tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed. Above all else, guys, have a great day. Also, expect, important, expect a One Piece explanation video, and everything you, know, you need to know video. Coming up next week. I know I said I was going to do Zoro Swords on Twitter. That just didn't work out. I'm doing something else. This is really cool. I worked really hard on this video. You may not see it in the video. But the research I did for the video took a while. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like it if you did. Subscribe for more videos. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. And I love all else guys. Have a great day. This is One Piece Nation. Signing out.